Hey guys, so as you can see I've already done my base, so I'm going to move straight on with the eyes and the lips today. I just wanted to keep it really short and sweet and to the point. I have heaps of different makeup tutorials with a full face look done with it. I'll link my favourite foundation routines up here and in the description the, the, the description box down below for you. Otherwise we're going to move straight on to the eyes now. So for this green smoky eye, you want a nice transition into the brow bone. So you're going to pick a tone that's almost similar to your natural skin tone, but maybe a couple shades darker. So I'm going to take two shades from the Jaclyn Hill palette as my transition to begin off with. I'm going to take Silk Cream and Made for each other and whack those through the crease with just a fluffy blender brush. Something really sparse and fluffy that will just place a little bit of product down in a, in a wider area so it's kind of soft and smoked out rather than very defined and harsh. And this one is the 221 Soft Crease Brush from Zoeva. And as you can see I start out here and then just blend whatever is left through the crease. It's going to be like a smoky eye today so no precise lines really. Just all and not blended so I want it to be really blended today and I am bringing it into the inner corners just slightly here still making sure to focus most of it out here so it just softly blends in so next I'm going to take butter and mixing it in with pukey so I'm going to mix these two together on that same fluffy brush and just place it slightly lower in the crease and I'm starting again on that outer corner and blending it through to the inner corner through the crease and now just taking pukey I'm just deepening up that shade a bit more ever so slightly in the crease still making sure it's in the crease not too much on the lid I mean if you do get on the lid it doesn't matter but try and keep it in the crease as best you can it does actually be really nice on its own like we chucked like a mustardy yellow on there be such a nice summery look so now I've got our soft blend, I'm just going to take Silk Cream and what was the other one again? Made for each other. So I'm taking Silk Cream and Made for each other on that same fluffy brush, wipe it off so it's a little bit cleaner. I'm just going to whack that on the very outer edges of those browns that we've placed down just to tie all that smokiness in so there's no choppiness or harsh lines. Just like that. Next I'm going to dip into Jada, which is like a bluey green shade on a... Pre a uh, precise shader brush, oh no, petite crease brush, sorry. I'm taking a petite crease brush and placing that through the lower portion of my crease, helping it blend into those previous brown shades. So blending this shade into those browns is the harder part of this look. It's probably going to be the hardest part. So what I usually like to do is take just a little bit of the product and build up from there. So you place a little bit through, blend it out, and then grab a little bit more and just start slowly building up that colour. Otherwise you're just left with like so much colour and like you just have no room to blend it out. And it can end up being like a little bit of a hot mess. So just a little bit at a time is like key. Key honey. It's definitely your safest bet to do it that way. Does anyone else do both eyes at the same time or is it just one? You do like one full eye and then you move on to the next one. I oh, know I used to do... It that way like I used to just do one eye and then I'd move on to the next eye but then I found like it ended up being uneven because I'd either put too much product on this eye and not enough or too much like they ended up being uneven so I found like doing both at the same time like each step working across the face works best but yeah let me know what do you guys do I'm just slowly like kind of building it up on this outer corner a bit as well and I'm taking some of Pukey again on that like fluffy brush I'm just blending out the edges and then what I'll go in with next is a bit of silk cream and made for each other again just to tie that whole look in together I might even take a bit of butter as well and just blend out the very edges of Pukey if you guys can see I actually only have a very light wash of Jada through the crease most of it's focused just on this outer lid portion here and then the rest just slowly fades up into pukey. So you don't want anything too harsh sitting there because you'll be able to see the very harsh gradient, like the very harsh switch and change, if that makes sense, into those brown shades. So you always just want to slowly build the product, blend it through, and then keep working in that process, building up, blend through, build up, blend through. 
so you have a nice soft blend and it looks a bit more smoother and smokier. Sorry if I am repeating myself a bit, I just want you guys to like get the message so it like sinks in and everything like that. Okay, next. So I want to take Enchanted next and place that through the crease just a bit lower than what I placed Jada. Just so that I have a bit more of that gradient coming through. Like we start from the lighter colours and work into that deeper, smokier look. And I'm taking that on a Morphe M139 brush. It's a beautiful tapered blender brush. Perfect to get right in the crease area. And I'm just literally resting the brush on my lid area. And letting the very tip of that brush place the product just below Jada. So I'm not bringing it any further up into the crease area, I'm actually bringing it lower down. Starting off that smoky look so we can start placing it all over the lid. But yeah, I first of all pack it on the outer corner. And then just start working it through that lower crease. So like I said, rest the brush on your lid to provide a bit more control and a steadier hand. And let the very tip of those bristles do their thing in the crease. I know that's dirty or I just have a bad mind, but that did not come across how I intended it. And then just taking a little bit of Jada on the very outer edges and just start softening that up a little bit. And taking Pukey and blending out Jada. On a more like compact, stiff brush, I'm taking Enchanted and packing that all over the lid space. Making sure that I place most of the product closest to the lash line. And then just using little dragging down motions and lighter pressure up towards the crease area so it fades naturally into there. With no harsh lines. Um, but even so, I'm still taking a bit of Enchanted on that tapered brush from Morphe and just working that through the outer edges. Next I'm going to take Epic from Makeup Geek. It's a gorgeous like a foiled shimmery eyeshadow. It's from the single shadows. And I'm going to pack that on over Enchanted. Just a light little wash of it. Nothing too intense because I still want some of Enchanted to like peek through. To come through still. Oh honey come through. It's such a nice shade. Oh, those two together. Oh, I'm dying. I'm so happy right now. But I want to kind of give a bit of a pop right on the center of the lid, like right in the center. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take Diva, which is like a kind of silvery, greeny tone. It's got green flex in it. I feel like the green reflex. So I'm going to place that on the very center of the lid with just my finger. Nothing too fancy. Oh, but damn. Oh, that is so nice. Oh. Then I'm going to take Beam on just a little like precise shader brush and place that on my brow bone for a bit of a highlight. Do I want a wing? Do I want a wing? Okay, so I have a little bit of an idea. I think I might do like a smoky liner look, like just a little bit. So I want to take the shade Abyss, which is like kind of like a it's like a blacky green I would say. I'm going to mix it in with Enchanted but I'm going to place like a thin a thin line of like a black coal liner just along the outer portion of my like, my lash line. And I'm just using the Makeup Geek one from the Full Spectrum Eyeliner Collection. So like literally I'm just doing the smallest little bit along the outer portion of my eye. Then like I said, I want to take um, Abyss and Enchant it. I'm using the Morphe M326 brush. So mixing these two together, I'm going to start smudging out that coal liner. Keeping it pretty close to my lash line, not smoking it out too far up. And then just going back in with some of um, Diva just to kind of bring it back a little bit. But now you've got that little bit of like a smoky little flick on the outer corner, just a bit of something extra. And I'm just like repeating the same thing on the other eye. So drag it out a little bit, get a bit of like a wingish shape happening. I'm just smudging just a bit along the closest part of my lash line to really smoke it. I really do like that. I really do. 
And it's just like a little bit softer than like a winged liner. And next I'm just quickly chucking on a couple coats of mascara before I apply the lashes on. Which I have no idea what I'm actually going to go in with the lashes today. I think I might do something with like a, um, like a kind of extended outer corner. Um, because I have got that kind of smoked out wing. I think before I go in with lashes, I'm just going to quickly chuck in a brown eye coal in my tight line and bottom waterline. Just because uh, it's easier to do it before you have both lashes on. So the lashes I went in today with are the Ardell Demi Wispies. I think they're like a bit of extra or something something. Just to give a bit more drama to the look but not cover up too much of that really pretty green eyeshadow. So let's move on with the bottom lash line now. So for the bottom lash line I'm taking Central Park and just wiggling that tightly along the lash line area. Keeping it about like two thirds of the way across so not bringing it all the way into the inner corner. Then I'm going to take some of butter and mix it in with a little bit of Roxanne. And just put those two together, smudging out Central Park. I actually think I might take a bit of Hunts as well, just to warm it up a little bit. So just taking some of Creamsicle and smudging out those shades. And then you can just finish up with a bit of mascara. And before I finish the eyes, I realised I need to do like an inner corner highlight. So what I'm just going to do is just take my Maybelline Master Chrome Highlight in the shade Molten Gold and just place that on my inner corner for a bit of a pop. A bit of something, something. Oh, oh yes. And that's the eyes done. So it's just like a nice greeny, smoky eye. So... For lips guys, I'm going to keep it like nude because that's what you requested. So I'm going to do my classic nude lip. So I'm going to take my eye coal from Makeup Geek. It's the espresso shade. So I'm going to line my lips and then I'm going to fill them in. Not with um, Pale Plethora. I think I might use Commando from Kylie Cosmetics. And use that to like meet my lips. Like a bit of like a nude shade. I always like to kind of like blend in the liquid lip into the um we call it like liner the lip liner otherwise it can look a little bit funny if you have like stark outlined lips i mean like i'm just not down for that look but each to their own and i feel like just for a little bit of like a glossy touch to the center of the lips i'm going to take my dose of colors undressed lip gloss and pla place that on and this concludes today's makeup look, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it and got a few tips and tricks from it. If you do have any requests at all that you'd like to see in my next videos, please make sure to comment them down below in the description bar or message me on, like, Instagram, like, DM me or anything like that if you do have any ideas or requests that you would like me to recreate or create for you. Otherwise, guys, I'll see you in my next video. Have an amazing day. Thank you so much for all your love and support, and I'll see you soon. Mwah. Bye.